This is just a quick example of how easy it is to assemble a Jali radiator cabinet. All the fixings and fittings are provided. You will just need a Phillips or Posi screwdriver and a suitable saw if you need to cut the side skirtings to fit. So here we start by laying all the parts out. Use sheet one of your instructions to identify the parts, particularly the different types of screws and fittings. And now we'll take our cams and place them in the recesses of this side. When fitting cams, make sure the notch faces outwards. These take the cam bolt, as you will see later. Then the cam bolts are screwed in, both to the side and to the upright part of the cabinet. Now I'll attach the grill clip using two of the 16mm round head screws. Now for the top part. As before, insert all the cams into their recesses on the back strut first. Then screw the cam bolts into the actual top. Followed by the magnetic catches, also with the 16mm round head screws. Okay, there may be two or three of those. Next is the grill itself. We'll attach the catch plates first. Be sure to get the countersunk holes the correct side up so the screws fit in neatly. These are the 10mm countersunk, or CSK for short, screw. And again. And again. Now we'll need to take the front skirting and push in the dowels. The spacer blocks slide on and support a panel clip, which is secured with two 16mm round heads. The block is held to the skirting by two 30mm countersunk screws. The spacer blocks are only fitted to the wider cabinets. And now the fun bit. Each side will be fitted to the appropriate upright using the cam and bolt fitting. All you have to do is slot them together and tighten up all the cam, about a quarter turn clockwise. It's exactly the same for the top and the other side. And then for all three components together. The front skirting will slot on with the dowels, but is then secured at each end with 30mm screws to the radiator. You'll notice if you push the side skirtings up to the wall, they won't fit against the room's skirting board, so we'll show you a neat trick for getting the perfect fit. First measure how far the sides extend beyond the cabinet when pushed flat. Now set a compass to that distance. When you push the sides flat again, you can mark the side skirting while accurately offsetting your room skirting pattern. All you have to do then is cut along that mark. Using this method, your cabinet should fit perfectly to your skirting board. Professionally, this is called scribing. The side skirtings can be attached with 30mm screws from the inside or just glue on if you wish. Use the back strut to secure the cabinet to the wall by screws and plugs or any suitable method. Lastly, the grill can be inserted into the clips and pushed flat against the magnetic catches at the top. 